Man, what's good, y'all? Do man. It's your boy J Ball, man. AKA First Take J, AKA Spiritual J, AKA Nature J, AKA J Ball, AKA Young Kobe, man. That's whatever you wanna call me, man. I'm back in the building, man. Straight up, just like that, folks. I'm back on y'all asses again. But man. Shit been crazy, man. Everything about life, man. Shit just been going. It been going smooth. And um I've been on this spiritual journey. And I truly, truly, truly know that it it has something to do with that. Like how I've been thinking, the food I've been putting into my body. I've been reading up on certain things on the internet, man. And just watching other people's videos on YouTube and just like enlightening myself. And they're helping me out as well because it's like I'm learning as I go. I'm learning as I go. I'm I'm learning so many different new new things that I didn't even know about, man. It's crazy. This world is really a matrix, man. And we don't even know. Like we just like robots. We just like sheep. People not woke, man. And it's crazy because I used to tell my dad, I'm like, dad, man, I used to tell him about like, man, this world is being ran. Like it's, it's somebody that's like running this world. And I graduated from high school 2011. And when I came back, so let me give y'all a little brief, you know, history about your boy, man. So my name is Jay. I go by Jay or Jared. Like the jewelry store, Jared. Like she went to Jared, cause you know all the bitches always coming here, boy. You feel me? <laughs> but uh, so yeah, you know, went to high school in Ohio, played ball. I've been playing ball my whole life since I was like five, football and basketball. But I started out with football for like I was only playing football. Well, no, that's cap. I was playing basketball too, but um, football was like my main sport. So fast forward, graduate from high school, I got like a little scholarship to go play ball at this little um. It's a it's a D three school. It's called University of Mount Union. Um, they're like the number one. They're the number one D D three school in America every year, pretty much. They go to the championship every year. Um, they're the most winningest college football program in the history of the NCAA. Yeah, they got more than Alabama, Ohio State. All that's like, it, yeah, they like that. I promise you. So, it was basically like D one boys, selling a D three team. <laughs> so, um, fast forward, I graduated high school, seventeen, get a little scholarship to go play ball there. Um, I played corner, and I played receiver. I played quarterback, running back, um, kick return, punt return. I did all that shit in high school. Like, I, you know, I did every position. I promise you, every single position. Like skill position wise, of course, but um, like went to Mount Union, um, was only the I was the one of the only freshmen that got bumped up to the varsity squad, you know. So I was pro shit practicing, traveling down there, and you know they was fucking with your boy, like you know they was really fucking with me. But um, I can honestly say I was seventeen, man. I was still young, fresh out of high school. Straight dickhead, I ain't know what the hell. You know, I'm just all about ball and girls. Like, that's strictly my mindset. Like, school was the least of my fucking worries, uh, unfortunately, and sad to say. But um, I still went to classes, of course. But, like, I just really didn't, I really didn't, like, dedicate myself to, like, doing the homework every time. You know, I, I was like, shit, I'm going to have... All the girls doing my homework for me. Like, I'm going to just be this, some big-time athlete. And I wasn't like that. You know, of course, I had my friends and all that stuff. The ladies, of course. But it's just like, it wasn't nothing how I pictured I was going to be. So, fast forward, 2012, um, I stopped playing football. Like, I just didn't want to be there no more. I wanted to go D1. Like, I was like... My mom was stuck on going D1. I was like, shit, I'm going to go D1 or I ain't going to play ball at all. Like, still, not thinking about school, not thinking about reality. You know? But I fast forward now, and I just fucking realized that fucking college was just a big-ass goddamn scam to get into your fucking pockets and how you in debt. 
Shit in your fucking twenties, your early twenties. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> this matrix is really designed to ruin you, man. There's so many distractions. There's so many things that set up for us to fail in the long run. But you just gotta be tough, man. You gotta be tough, man. Straight up, like, or you're not gonna get through that shit. Like, you gonna fail, and you're not gonna get through that shit. But going back to college, you know, I. Just, I basically, I ain't gonna say I dropped out, but, like, I just took a break from college, man. Like, I was just like, fuck it. I'm gonna go find a Juco and work my hand and try to, you know, ball out for them and get a D1 look somewhere. Like, that was just my opportunity. That was my dream at the time in 2012. 18. So, you know, still fairly young. I'm like, man, it's either now or never. I feel like I got potential, but... Once again, I didn't truly dedicate myself because I didn't hit that weight room like I should have. Even though I was always, you know, fairly superior athlete to, like, pretty much everybody on the field. Like, I was always that nigga that was like, oh. Like, they was like, oh, shit, he just did that. Some Always just some wild shit like that, some crazy shit. And I'm low-key ambidextrous, so I don't know if that shit helped. <laughs> but, Yeah. Not, and I ain't bragging on myself because there's hella athletes out there that do some crazy shit with ease. But in this new generation of athletes, like, it's just mind-blowing. So, <laughs> yeah, back to that, though. So trying to get into a, a Juco to get a D1 look, that never happened. So I ended up going to Tri-C, which was like a little local community college, and I just took classes there. You know, stayed in shape, of course. I was playing basketball, like, literally every day. Um, of course, I was working, unfortunately. Uh, slaving for the for the white man in his goddamn matrix. I was slaving. And we not even we not even put here to work. Realistically, like, since I've been on this spiritual journey, I realized, like, we really not put here to fucking work. Like, to chase a fucking piece of paper. <laughs> like, this shit is just a scam. This matrix is just designed to fucking try to ruin us and lower our vibration. You always have to vibrate at a very, very high level. Because if you are not vibrating at a high level, then you won't even understand what the fuck I'm trying to tell you. Let alone understand the people I heard that's going to try to deter you from thriving and, you know, shooting up and success, shooting for success. And shooting and thriving to chase your goals. There's always going to be people out there that's going to try to bring you back in and, and try to... Hey, get back down here. Uh, you levitating too high. Get your ass back down here. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be people that's going to try to bring you down. You going too damn high up the damn elevator. Get your ass back on my flow. I want to see you down here with me. I don't like when I... I don't like, I don't like success. That's how motherfuckers going to be thinking about you when you just slowly... Going up that goddamn elevator, leaving their ass in the dust because you vibrating at a higher frequency. You understand what this world, what this matrix is pretty much designed. Like, you basically have beat the game once you understand that this is a matrix. Motherfuckers are always going to try to test you. The devil, whoever, negative energy is always going to try to bring you down and try to make you feel less of a person social media is the perfect example of how i can explain this you go into social media instagram for example twitter and you see beautiful chick with a you know somebody else and they just living their life they're having fun they're living their best life out there in who knows greece fucking switzerland <laughs> i don't fucking know paris like one of the Car caribbean islands like who knows but they're having their best life. They're living their best fucking life. They're going to taking trips. They're on the airplane every other day, damn near, or every other week in a different city. They look like they're in all the clubs. But I promise you, those are the most low vibrating frequency people on this damn planet, man. You go into a fucking club that's playing like some loud ass 440 hertz music that's just going to damage your fucking ears and damage and lower your frequency and have you vibrate at a lower level. And it's like basically people drinking poison and turning up off that shit and turning into complete demons. Cause that shit is just poison. That's just literally fucking your intestines and your kidney and all that, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, your stomach and all that good stuff up. 
it's just damaging and all that good stuff. So it's like you really just poisoning yourself and turn into a different person, not yourself. You drink your spirits. Booze. Boo. They call it booze. What's boo? That's kind of like a ghost. And what's a ghost? A ghost is a spirit. So you order them a Patron or you get some Henny and you chug that motherfucker. My nigga, you just basically drunk a spirit, bro. Like you, you dead ass just drunk a spirit. A cup, a fat ass, two shots of a spirit. So nigga, you really drunk two spirits, bro. Like, that's what you're doing in your body. You putting fucking poison in your body and it turning into a complete different person. So that's just something to think about. That's just something for your mental to just, you know, ponder. And if I'm wrong, please let me know I'm that that I'm absolutely wrong. Like, nigga, that's not what that means. Spirits, no, you're not drinking. Like, please let me know. You're not drinking poison. Because that will motherfucking make me be like, oh, shit. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Or shit, I need to read up on some more shit. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm wrong, let me know I'm wrong. But I highly doubt I'm fucking wrong. I highly doubt that shit. But moving on, man. So, like, and the crazy thing is, like, when I was playing ball, I always, like, my pops always used to tell me, like, man, envision yourself doing this. Meditate before the game. Pray before the game. Like, you know, try to get into that zone before the game. Like, you going to do this and make that type of play. And that shit going to happen. And he always used to tell me that shit. And I just be like, yeah, like, I'll be listening sometimes. But sometimes that shit would literally go in one out the motherfucker other. Like, nigga, I'm about to. Folks, you talking about, I'm about a ball. Like, I don't need to do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, wasn't I wasn't in tune. I wasn't in tune with myself. I was just trying to, trying to be that big D one player that I that I never never became. Although I definitely had the potential, and everybody used to be like, "Man, you going to the league? You going to the league, bro?" Uh, and I just, you know, I used to take that in, in stride and be like, "Yeah, I'm going to the league," but I never really pushed myself to be like you know, the best that I could possibly become when I was, like, in my prime. Nah, don't don't ever get shit twisted and don't think I can't bust y'all ass on the fucking basketball court because, nigga, I am a walking bucket. I play, in, I play, I am a motherfucking, you know, I work in a damn hospital and shit. I do information technology. I'm a specialist in that type of area in different hospitals around the country. But, so I'm always dressed up like a fucking nerd. I look like a nerd. To our businessman, probably like 95% of the time when you see me. But the other 5%, nigga, best believe I'm busting ass on the basketball court. I'm in a damn gym league. Every, we play every Sunday. And, shit, my average is like 30, like, bro. <laughs> I had 35 the last game. And the game before that, I want to say I had 32. So, and then the game before that, I had 28. So, like, <laughs> it really... Like, I really do that basketball shit, but that's a different story. That's a different video for a different day, man. I'll show y'all some highlights. You know, I play ball, play football, you know, have some Odell catches, shit like that. Before Odell even, like, had them catches, you know what I'm saying? Shit like, you know, but that's just, I'm old news, basically what I'm saying. But, like, don't get that shit twisted. I do accept bets, invitations fly out to play one-on-ones or do anything like that. Yes, I do accept all of that. If you're local, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. You know, <laughs> should I be at Lifetime Fitness? I'll be at Cleveland State University. Should I be at um LA Fitness? Like, you can catch me anywhere hooping. I'll be at the rec. I'll be at different types of recs, like different cities. I'm always like, you can always catch this rec whenever if y'all try to hoop. So it's whatever on that end. But like, back to the spiritual journey stuff, man. Like, the matrix stuff, man. Like, the, the distractions that they put out here in this world. Like, Instagram and social media. Like, all that good stuff, man. It's just a distraction to really lower your frequency, man. They want to lower your vibration. They don't want you vibrating at a high level. People talk about this third eye shit. Penal gland. All the food that we've been eating since we was fucking baby, since they cut our damn umbilical cord, and our umbilical cord was the damn secrets and 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 every and knowledge for the past life that you literally had before you came here, before you 
became this motherfucking flesh and bone, this piece of meat, this meat costume. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is not true. Like, this meat costume, this shit is not true, bro. The outside of how I look is not me. It's the shit that's inside of me. <laughs> that, that that voice that be talking, that's you. That voice that be talking to you, that's really your ass for real. That voice that be talking inside your head, that's you for real, for real. He know about you and all your other past lives as well. You know what I'm saying? But that's also another video for a different day. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about all that shit, man. Because I really, really want to spread the knowledge about shit, at least of what I know. And I want to interact with people about what they know and shit, gain an intellect and insight on other type of, you know, things like that. So, just all these distractions, man. Like, they decalcifying our pineal gland. They giving our all this fucking food that's going to clog our arteries, fuck our damn stomachs up in the long run, not make our damn dicks work. Because you need blood to go to your dick to get hard. And if your damn arteries and your blood lines is clogged with fucking, who knows, all that butter and all the meats and all the fucking unhealthy processed foods that motherfucker eat, your shit not going to be working by the time you 30, bro. Like, your dick not... You're not going to be able to please no woman. How you used to be able to please, or at least or how you used to please... Like, your shit not going to be working, bro. <laughs> and she going to be out here looking for a nigga that, you know, could slang some wood in her eye. You know what I'm saying? And best believe, vegetarians and us vegans, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to speak for them niggas, but me, personally, you know, I'm glad I took this motherfucking spiritual vegetarian slash vegan diet like this shit is like I'm glad I'm becoming awoke I'm slowly slowly breaking this matrix apart and understanding what's what's happening they say it's 12 12 it's supposed to be some crazy shit 12 12 at 12 12 but I know it ain't gonna be twelve twelve no more at midnight once it's you know twelve twelve of course. But I guess it, I don't know if this phenomenon was last night. It had to be last night because before I went to bed last night, I had went to the gym. I went to Planet Fitness, got my little two hour workout in, took a shower, and came back home. And um, I'm 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 literally distracting myself before I go to sleep. I'm on Instagram. I'm I'm I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm on Instagram. I'm on, on my other phone, and I'm just scrolling, I'm scrolling, and um, I'm just like, damn, I'm sleepy as fuck, let me, you know what I'm saying, let me get my ass to bed, literally, as soon as I close, uh, little close out the motherfucking Instagram app, click the phone on my, click the little power button, 12 fucking 12, on 12, 12, Right before I nigga go to sleep, like I was like, man, what is that a sign of? So look, let's look this shit up, cause I know I wasn't tripping. I don't know if it's my. I don't know who trying to. I don't know if it's my guardian angels just trying to interact with me. I don't know if they're trying to send me a mess. I don't know. I truly don't know, but like. Is it an angel number? Let's see what this is about. Oh, shit. Dang. Fuck. Draw my brush. I hate that shit. Fuck. All right. Angel number 1212. Angel number is a message from your angels that you are to stay focused on your highest, highest expectations as the angels and the universal energies. What was I just talking about? That energy, when you speak that shit out to the universe, that's energy, man. When you think that shit in your head and you manifest on that shit, you meditate on it, you think about it and you think about it, that's all going out into the spirit universe. It's going to eventually come into the physical realm, which is the universe. And it's all energy. You do this shit. You can really manifest and turn your future into what you want it to be like that it's so fucking it's so scary and it's so crazy at the same time that it's like 
you literally are controlling your destiny with every single breath that you take, every single step that you make. You don't ever think about that, man. Every breath you take, man, you literally are controlling every fucking hour that passes by on this matrix. You are slowly <laughs> investing into your destiny. So what do you want your destiny to be? Back to 1212. 12 is a message from your angels that you are to stay focused on your highest, highest expectations as the angels and the universal energies work behind the scenes. Helping you to manifest your wants and needs, goals and desires. Angel number 1212 is a powerful sign that you are to step out of your comfort zone and take new directions and over again new projects and ventures that you have been wanting to do for a long time now. Angel number 1212 encourages us to release our fears and apprehensions and get on with pursuing our passions and purpose. Angel number 12. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's some real shit, man. How come I want to fucking do my YouTube video on 1212? I went to sleep yesterday at 1212 on 1212, and I woke up with a purpose, man. I woke up with a different purpose. And it says, look, it literally is you, your angels and universal energies working behind the scenes. Helping you to manifest your wants, needs, goals, and desires. That's like that's just the realest shit ever, man. If you don't feel that, man, like you, I don't think you a spirit. Like you don't have no soul if you don't feel what I'm saying, man. It's crazy. Like you literally are, can manifest what you want, your goals, your desires, your dreams. You do this. You could do this. Manifest on it, man. It's crazy. I was just telling you all that, man. But it's it's just so real how that shit is true. You really That's that's scary, man. It's scary, dog. Alright. Look, it say Angel number is a powerful sign. I already read this, I know. That you are to step out of your comfort zone and take new directions and or begin new projects and ventures that you have been wanting to do for a long time now. What did I just tell y'all as soon as I got on the video? I'm like shit. I've been bullshitting on this damn YouTube video for the longest. And now all of a sudden, it's December 12th. The 12th month of the year. This, the 12th day of 2019. And I just decide, oh shit. I'm about to step out of my comfort zone. I should, I'm about to get in front of the camera. I don't give a fuck how I look. What the hell I'm talking about. I might not even know what the hell I'm talking about these first couple of videos, but... I'm going to get on track because I, I, my adjust game is beautiful. It's magnificent. You know what I'm saying? I adapt. I adapt very well. I, I can do this adaption. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really, truly feel like I can, for real, for real. That's just some real G shit. That's just how confident I feel and my manifesting abilities, my spiritual journey that I've been on for the longest. Like, it's just how I feel. And ain't nobody about to tell your boy different, man. I'm the boy. J-Ball. First take J, man. You heard me? So, shit. It's just crazy how I wanted to take a new direction and I stepped out of my comfort zone on 12-12. <laughs> and I'm trying to do, like, be a YouTube personality. I, ain't, I don't want no damn fame. I want to be the popular, this motherfucker on YouTube. No, nah, I don't want none of that shit. I just want to give feedback. I mean, not give feedback, but I want to give knowledge, give intel, what I know, and share it with everybody else in the community because I feel like it's y'all duties to, like, you know, read up on this shit as well. Like, look up and don't just be a robot, man. Don't just be a sheep, man. <laughs> this is not what God wanted us to do. This is not what the higher up wanted us to do, man. Y'all got to go with them and find y'all purpose and get on that shit. We got, a, we got a limited time. I know it may seem like we going to be in our teenage years, our, our 20, our young 20s forever, our mid 20s, whatever, your, your, your early 30s, it don't matter how old you are. Time is ticking. And I know time don't exist in the, in the, in the realm, the spiritual realm world, but that shit exists here. And why, you know what I'm saying? We here on this time world, y'all better make the most of y'all time. Cause that's the most important. You can't get that shit back, man. You can make some more money for sure, but you can't get that time back. 
That's real, man. So y'all motherfuckers gotta find y'all purpose, man. Get out y'all.